and this, this ain't CGI, folks. Did you know water ran through my town? Anyway, just figure I'd come down here. You know, this is real healthy. You know, it's fresh air right off the river. You don't want to be too healthy, though, so I just ate two chicken uh, Big Macs. And that's chicken Big Macs, to clarify. But I was just down here, down here pondering. Pond, get it? It's a big pond. It's a river, really. I, I'm not that funny. Just funny looking. Uh, but I was just down here. I figured I'd come down here. Like I said, I had two Big Mac, chicken Big Macs and fries. Come with a toy, too. Um, the toy was a little tiny paint set. You can paint a little picture. It's besides the point. What I'm trying to say is, folks, is I come down here to just say, to just pretty much clarify that I'm going to stick my nose in the latest drama like I have every other drama. Dr dramas? That's pretty much what I'm going to do. I love to just hint around about things that people told me in confidence and just just kind of spook them. They already know I'm going to say it. They shouldn't have never told me something in confidence. But I like to just kind of make them think that I'll keep a secret and then just a couple Big Macs in. I'm a little drunk off the Big Macs chicken ones, by the way. But I'm going to tell your secrets, folks, is what I'm trying to say. That's a real river. It's real. It's funny, it's like the fourth time somebody has said, nice truck, and if they like the collar, I can have, I can get to get it on camera. Don't think I ever will, but. Another thing that guy forgot to bring me was J Channel, that I need to run around that gable. And I, I went ahead and grabbed two more bundles of shingle from Lowe's. I still ain't pulled, I ain't pulled the first measurement yet, but something tells me that it's not enough. I also just realized and I've left this hammer drill. That should be good on it. Shit. I should go plug it in real quick in the Lowe's store to make sure it works. If not, I gotta buy a new one. Should be able to get some wires in there to tie to. Low key, that's pretty dangerous though, actually. There we go. I'm not afraid to touch it. Huh. People say Porter Cable ain't worth a damn. <laughs> Survived a rainstorm in the back of an F1 smoking, baby. Woo! <laughs> Today's gonna be somewhat of a tough one and I've debated on how to even handle it uh, definitely want to speak on it regardless but as most of you guys know today is Monday November the 11th Veterans Day but it also happens to be my father's birthday he would have been 64 today and um, unfortunately he didn't get a chance to turn 64 as most of you guys know he just passed away of cancer just a few months back and um you know you kind of know that this is going to come up and i've kind of felt it coming and wondered how i would wonder how i would feel on his first birthday since the passing and and what i would do you know, I, I definitely, regardless of how the relationship was and how my childhood went, we we managed to spend as much time as we could together there at the end, and there is some good memories, and I have some things of his that my mother had given me, and I hadn't really had a chance to look through much of it, or I don't know, maybe I kind of avoiding it intentionally because it's kind of hard and it's painful but um i think that's what i should do today i think i'm going to dedicate this whole entire video to him uh, number 68 and just kind of see if i could dig up some old videos i got some old videos but it's on a whole nother phone i'll have to figure out how to get it off of that phone and onto this one 
it might be a little bit grainy the quality but I just want to capture who he was and kind of show you he always had a sense of humor always and me and Lindsay were just talking about this last night about how he always tried to make you laugh he was always doing something silly you know we were talking about Thanksgiving coming up and that was one of his things that he liked to do too I don't even know if turkeys I don't even think they still do this anymore or maybe it was just a type that he bought but he would get that turkey and inside of it would be like the big neck bone or whatever and he just couldn't help himself he, it would be early in the morning they were up trying to get this turkey prep to put it in the oven to cook all day and he would come in there with that stupid turkey neck or whatever it was it looked like a big slimy freaking spine or i don't know what it was but he would come in there and mess with us kids with it like we'd be asleep in bed and wake up to a damn turkey neck hanging over you and that smile of his uh so yeah i kind of want to just obviously i'm still roofing i promised you guys i wouldn't show you any more videos of that but i'm to the point now where i just gotta lay the shingles j channel the gable and cap it off and hopefully be done with it I will say, and I'm proud of this, it did not leak yesterday with just having felt paper on it, which it shouldn't, you know, and I remember that from when I used to work this kind of stuff from years and years ago that that was always the rush was at least get the felt paper on it because it can handle water. <sighs> Funny enough, I got up two o'clock this morning to go use the bathroom and I used the kids bathroom downstairs. And I mean, as soon as I was stepping in over the threshold into the doorway of that bathroom, I could hear this dripping sound, you know, just dink, dink, dink. And I look on the floor and there's this over splatter of water from the droplets splashing out into the floor. And my heart sank. I was like, oh no. And then I like immediately come up with this defense in my head of like, well, I mean, it wasn't done yet. And people know that. And anyway, I, I take, I turned my head and look in the shower. One of the boys had took a shower and didn't shut the shower all the way off. So it was just dripping from the shower. Uh, speaking of showers, a tattoo came off of my head in the shower. I had to rub pretty dang on hard though to get it off. Like I said, the people that I got the lumber from and the roofing, that was my dad's sister. And I got the, when I went there that day, they invited me to their house and sat down and told some stories about him. And, uh, I'll share one of those with you guys. So the guy, I guess they've done this forever. They've owned this lumber company for a long time. And for as long as they can remember, they're always running a delivery of materials to somebody. And I guess my father was 17 years old and said, I want to help, you know, I'll run one of those loads out somewhere. And uh, it was a flatbed truck. If I remember this correctly, it was a flatbed truck and they had the material stacked higher than what the cab was. So it was kind of top heavy too, but I guess my dad was driving. If you guys know Garrison, Kentucky and Route A, it's a swirly road, man. And it's it's still thin. I can imagine, you know, when my dad was 17, that's a long time ago, but it's still that way and it's sketchy, dude. If you're on a, in a big truck going down through there. But long story short, I can't remember if she said it was the Pepsi guy or the Coke, Coca-Cola guy, but one of those soda company trucks ran him off the road. He ended up going off the ditch line and rolling the truck because that makes sense. That sounds like my dad. It sounds like me. You know, the first time you go to do something, you, I mean, you do it all the way. You roll the damn thing. Uh, so he rolls the truck and he's not hurt at all. I guess he's fine. He had his seatbelt on and speaking of he's smarter than I wasn't that but uh, the material being stacked so high when the truck went over on its top it actually the material is what it was teetering on and didn't even bother like the cab of the truck was fine he said the only thing wrong with the truck was the passenger mirror where it first dove over the passenger mirror took it or whatever but then when it rolled on its top it was perfectly fine and uh, they ended up having to flip it back over the wrecker and unloading or taking every bit of the material one by one and hand loading it onto another truck, I think. But he said, you know, Jimmy, uh, your dad apologized and apologized and apologized and was just so apologetic about it. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I swear I didn't mean to. And 
I, I don't know. It was, I, I want to go back because I want to hear more stories like that. You ever just crave, you just want to know more stories. And oddly enough, um, the guy kept calling me Jimmy, which is what they, which is what my dad went by. Obviously we're both James Horner, but that's what my dad went by was Jimmy. But anyway, um, I want to make sure that I carve out enough time today. I know I got a lot of work to do, but I want to take some time. I have his suit that he wore and the, the arm. I want to say he was a reservist or uh, what's it called where you just have drill like a couple couple weekends and uh you're kind of just on call I, I don't know but i'll show you guys his army suit i got like i said i got some pictures uh i wanted to say this yesterday in that vlog but i didn't have time to do it because we were all trying to have time and, and thank you guys for each and every one of you guys that sat through that halloween party vlog yesterday because i know it wasn't probably it probably didn't make a whole lot of sense it was just jumping from one segment to another and all i was basically doing was just remembering to pick the camera up and turn it on you know as the day went just so i i you know shared something with you guys and i i appreciate it i mean when somebody sets through a video like that you know that they they actually support you and like what you're doing and you know have some sort of love and appreciation for your family so i appreciate all that but I, it's, I said all that to say when i got to this part of the video when my son <laughs> turned and looked at me like that i couldn't believe how much it reminded me of a picture of me whenever i was that age and i wanted to put them side by side so i'll put these two side by side here how crazy is that that you know we don't cut his hair because he throws huge fits. I don't know the reason why I had hair like that. But regardless, it's just, it's very nice to see that, you know, my son looks just like me. Uh, I love that little guy to pieces, man. And he played along as much as he hates costumes and different stuff on him, you know, like it's uncomfortable to him. Daggone, he wore that biking co costume. <laughs> Uh, most part of the day and you know was patient with us to pose for pictures but let's get back to the house and I will dig these things out and let's just kind of remember my father man like I said always cracking a joke always trying to I hope I could find it I'm gonna describe it right now and if I do find it then it'll be the next clip but he had this pacemaker put in um, I want to say a year or two ago and whenever I was visiting, when the hospice was still caring for him at his own home, he had his shirt off in there one day and you could see this thing like raised under his skin. And I was like, you care if I, you know, touch it, if I feel it? And I went to touch it and he went, oh, and you know, and he scared the shit out of me. And that's just why he always was, man. Hopefully the clip's there, here it is. Look at that thing. God. Can I feel it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, he's busy. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. Where'd they go in at? Right oh, I top. see the stitch there now, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I hope to find the rest of them like that, man, just to remember him that way. Smiling, goofing off, and just trying to, trying to get one over on us, man. But anyway, love you guys. Uh, thank you to all the veterans out there. Thank you so much for your service. I, it goes without saying. Uh, anybody who's followed me for any amount of time knows how much respect I have for our veterans and appreciation for them. But love you guys, and I'll see you at the house. Well, that package right there is going to make the day go a little bit better. I'll tell you that much. So, unfortunately, this is my last day to finish this roof project, so I have to get at it. Uh, but I wanted to say real quick. I was just in Triple T's live. Thank you for making me a moderator. I appreciate that. You didn't have to do that, but uh, when I'm in there, I, you know, and able to, I will do my best to help you out with that. But I want to say this, man. Well, first of all, let me just crack this open so I don't lose the sponsorship. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> Kinetic. Get your roof done. That sounded great, didn't it? You know what's sad, man, is 
here I am in this live and it sucks that it has to be this way. Like I said, there's always drama, man. And I'm not pointing that at any one person. I'm not saying it's church's fault. I'm not saying it's Adam's fault. I mean, it's just everybody's fault, right? It's just a drama field genre. Like it's, ah, dog, bro. But it's sad because I go to type a comment and I got friends on both sides. You know, I've got uh, people that I, I like, respect, care for on both sides of this, man. And obviously I respect Triple T. I always have, I always will, unless he gives me a reason not to. But here I am, like, going to type a, com a comment and I'm like, well, there's going to be people that are like, oh, well, I thought you was on our team, you know? And then if I don't type a comment... And then I'm letting T down. Like, it's just bullshit. And I don't think, if I feel that way, and I ain't got nothing to do with the music. I ain't never have, ain't never, probably will. I'm an idiot, bro. I'm just, I just, just a goofball. It runs his mouth. But if I feel that way, imagine how the fans feel. Like, the true fans who super duper love this, this music, this lane, who give, dedicate their lives to it, their paychecks, and buying the merch, and buying every album that comes out. Like, I think y'all need to take a second, think about how they feel, man, and, and if there's going to be a future in this genre, if you guys keep on doing this, man, like, it's just constant, and I, like, again, I'm not saying that's one person's fault, and not the other, or vice versa, it's all y'all's fault, y'all, and people need to grow up, man, that's how I feel about it, <sighs> y'all can say I'm just saying that, because I'm sore and butt hurt, because I got to finish this roof i am glad though that i put all this felt down before it rained yesterday man because that was making me a nervous wreck all right let's get to it i can't wait to turn this camera on and show you guys a finished roof oh i can't wait well I, I guess i'm doing this right this took this little bit i got done right here took me a lot longer to do than what i want to admit but I didn't realize until I started that I had never laid three tab before, that I had always done that dimensional and where you stagger it, you can do quarter, three quarter, half. But I'm assuming with these, that's what this little notch is for. And that's how you get your step. But I mean, the idea is to just not have a water jacket line up with another water jacket, right? I mean, at the end of the day, and I do have a light little wooden hammer, which I think is way better for this. Yeah, I can't believe I'm actually laying some shingles down finally. We're getting somewhere. Check him out, Dad. I had to reset it because of the fall forward, but she's still working, and look, so is the light. We'll keep pushing it. That's messed up, ain't it? Give you hell in the afterlife, man. He he always would get on people for pushing that button. You're gonna run the battery dead. I can hear you saying it right now, Pop. But I figure I'd dig this thing out. Check this out, and we'll do it together. I got him sitting right here. I haven't taken this out of the bag since she gave it to me. I'm curious to see what it's like if it. I don't even know if it'd fit me. I think he was only 17 when he joined the army. Let me see, I'm gonna open this beast up. I'll say too, the last few hours on the roof, I've been listening to all the soundtracks and stuff that he would like to listen to. That I just got done listening to that Bad Company, um, 10 from six, front to back. He liked that one. Chunky mouse this thing's heavy, bro. Some of the uh, some of the army fellas out there can maybe help me out with some of this information. I don't know much about any of this, man. Um, like I say, I, I'm pretty sure it was just. So that looks like it says rifle. Let me try her on, Dad. And then I'll put it back up. I don't want to mess it up, but let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Your boy's got bigger shoulders, man. No offense, Pops, but 
you know. Not proud of it, but I went to prison, did a lot of push-ups in there. Do I like broccoli? You like broccoli? Yes, I do. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I love ice cream. Do you like broccoli ice cream? Broccoli ice cream, you know. <laughs> Oh, that makes it like Do you like crab legs? Do I like crab legs? Yes. Do you like sausage? Yes, I like sausage. Do you like crab legs with sausage? Ew, no! <laughs> Yucky! I don't want to rip this thing. I don't think I can get it off. Huh? Do you like this? Do I like fish? Do you like fish? It? Yeah, I like fish. Do you like fish? Yes. Do you like this fruit? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say it's not going to fit. And Dad, you already know I, I clown around a lot. So. Do you like chocolate? Yes, I love chocolate. Do you like milkshake? Yes, I like milkshake. Do you like chocolate milkshake? Yes. I know you wanted me to say no for the bit, but chocolate milkshakes are good. Just trying to get a laugh out of your pops, ain't yeah, this thing ain't gonna fit me, which is probably probably a good thing anyway, you know. I can see you in this all sharpened up. You had hair though, man. You had crazy hair. For the new people who haven't haven't seen the pictures yet, here's a picture of my dad's hair. It was insane, dude. He ain't giving none of that to me. Which uh we were both bald, whatever. He passed away earlier this year. I don't know why I'm looking through the pox. I want to see if you left me something fun, old man. But now, as far as I can tell, it's obviously this is U.S. Army. This says rifle. That's obviously the name placard. It says Horner. Pretty cool suit, man. You got to figure how old that is. He would have been 64 today. And if he joined when he was 17... That's a lot of math. I, I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. Your watch does fit me. Let me stick this beast on for a second. I can see him now down in the nursing home still checking this out. He just... And there at the end, I got real loose on him where he lost a lot of weight. But I'm so used to mine lighting up when I put it up to my face. November 11th. Happy birthday, old man. We gotta get you a cake. You were like me, you didn't like cake anyway. Or I was like you, rather. That, that should be how you say it, right? Matter of fact, I'm just gonna put this watch right there around that. Now here's the part where my mom would freak out. You gotta put that back in there just right. I'll figure it out. Chill out. He'd be saying that too. Patty? Hi, Patty. I ain't dead. He always said that she talked too loud. Every time she'd say something, I ain't dead, Patty. You ain't gotta yell. <laughs> I kind of like the old gruffy Gus side of him when he got older. I tell you what, I wish I would have. There's a couple tools that I, I wouldn't have mind having. Um, one of them being a compression tester that you like screw into a cylinder head and um, crank it over and check the compression on it. He uh, he did give it to me, and I was and I was so bitter for the most part, and I stayed that way a lot. Um, you know, it was it was that feeling of I I don't know. It was like power to me. You know, like if he was to give me something it was like nah dude you ain't going you know i, I don't know I, I don't even know how to explain what i'm trying to explain but yeah. he had what's up <laughs> always getting in the shower without a tail um i think what buddy can you go get your haircut yeah yeah do you need some money yeah yeah we can go get your haircut buddy let me the towels are upstairs hang on Hold on for a second, guys. Anyway, while well, I take us back down here to this storage closet, uh, you know, and I've I've had several people speak on 
you know, and even Triple T recently was like, you know, you need to try to get along with your mother and this and that. And so let me explain to you the reason I don't have that compression tester anymore and maybe shine a little bit of light on how just in, and how in fact difficult it was to maintain a relationship. So it was shortly after he had given me that, uh, I was trying to conversate with him. Lindsay was, heck on. Lindsay was pregnant with Finley. She was probably four or five months out from having him. And uh, I was trying to, you know, call on a regular basis to talk to my father and my mother. And uh, at the time I had this old gold Toyota Corolla that I nicknamed Goldie. And uh, <laughs> shout out Goldie. And uh, it was in, I had blown a head gasket on it because the job I had, I was, you couldn't be 30 seconds late and you'd get a point and it was a point system. So I knew it was low on water one day, but drove it to work anyway, overheated it. And uh, long story short, blew the head gasket on it. So fast forward, I, it's in the garage. I tore the head off of it and I ordered a head gasket and it had been sitting in the garage with the head laying on the workbench, engine torn completely apart. Uh, you know, seemingly nothing to do with any kind of anything, right? Just a man with a broken down car. I'm on the phone one day with my father, just trying to have a conversation. And she chimes in. She says, how come you didn't wave at me the other day at the fuel station down the road? I said, oh, sorry, I, I must not have seen you. I, you know, no, I apologize. I, for, you know what I mean, didn't know. And she says, oh yeah. She said, I looked right at you. And she said, and you just, you didn't wave at me on purpose. And I'm like, well, daggone, what day was it? And she was like, it was, it was this day and you were in your gold Toyota. And you, you just looked right at me with this dirty look. And I, and at that point I'm relieved. I'm like, oh, well, uh, you know, sorry about the confusion. That, that wasn't me. Uh, my car is in the garage with the head gasket out of the whole head off of it. To which she replies, yeah, right. Uh-huh. And then that's when, you know, everybody who knew her would know, like, oh, here we go. And uh, she's like, yeah, I know it was you, pal. And, you know, like there was some big hidden meaning behind my not waving and this and that. And I was like, no, it honestly wasn't me. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with every detail of the argument. But it goes from that to just cussing, screaming, um... I hope your baby's born retarded with disabilities and this and that. And I remember telling my father, I said, Dad, don't you think this is ridiculous? And he says, what do you want me to do? Call my wife a liar? <laughs> Which ain't that something. You pit your, uh, pit your son and your wife against each other, right? And I said, no, she's not a liar. I said, there's a difference between being a liar and just being mistaken. I said, she she couldn't have seen my car. And then I said, you're more than welcome, both of you are more than welcome to come out to the house, go out my garage and see the cobwebs that are growing on the torn apart engine of the car that's been out there for a month or whatever, a couple months at that point, I think. And my mom said, oh, why? So you can just go out there and tear your engine apart just to make me look crazy? And I'm like, lady, you've got, you got shit all bound up if you think I'm willing to tear my engine apart just to f your head. <laughs> but anyway, um, I said all that to say, cause my, my father and my mother both at this point are just calling, they're drunk and leaving me shitty voicemails telling me how much they hate me and I'm just a piece of shit and there's something wrong with me and there's always been something wrong with me and I'm just a, I'm an issue in the family. So the only thing at that point that I had of my father's was that compression tester. And I threw it in the back of the Chrysler, which was a running vehicle. And I drove down to his house and I threw it out in the driveway and said, you can have it, but I don't want nothing from you. And it sucks that it had to been that way because I'm telling you, it didn't, 
you know, and if somebody could have just said, oh, I thought that was you, my bad, I didn't realize your car was broke down. It's sad how easy it could have, whatever, man. Anyway, um, yeah, this guy, also, that not that he, not only did he not give me enough shingles, and I know that now because I put on over a square, and I'm still not even done with the north end of it, and I still have the whole south end, so I'm definitely glad I grabbed a few extra, but also, um, I'm out of nails. I have no roofing nails left, so I gotta run down here before the hardware store closes and grab some roofing nails, and, uh, I don't know, maybe something to throw on the grill would be nice if I'm not too tired later. I'm not gonna lie, this shit's kicking my ass, like, <laughs> 100%. But anyway, uh, I wanted to make this, like I said, about my father. I'm glad I dug out that outfit. It's funny, I didn't think it was gonna fit me. And maybe if Lindsay was there, she could kinda help me get it over my shoulders. I do love him, and I do miss him. And, um, I don't mean to talk about the bad things they're just there. Like, what do you want me to do about it? Right? Like I can't, I can't tell a story without telling how it went down. And I think, uh, and again, and I don't want to bring this up and divide people again, like the last time, you know, whenever other people were trying to get me to realize that you only have one mother and this and that. And, you know, I've seen a lot of comments of people saying, dude, you don't understand unless, <laughs> unless you went through whatever this man went through. But it is what it is. And it made me the person I am today. And what I hope to do is show my sons a different way you know just like this roof not only am i saving money and making it to where you know we can afford the secret project for the oldest one and christmas for the others um that's that's one of the main reasons i'm doing this roof myself and saving that few thousand dollars that a company wanted to charge us but i'm also doing it because it had such a an impact on me seeing my buddy's dad do that sort of thing for his family you know climb up there and put his roof on put his siding on um build an addition he turned a porch into a big ass laundry room and then the other porch into a bigger living space i thought it was the sickest thing ever i'm like this dude's superman <laughs> this dude can do anything and uh i just hope that my sons, you know, later on down the road, because you don't know what you don't know, right? You don't know that. Well, maybe I can do that myself. Or if you, you know, hopefully they're successful enough and don't have to do it themselves at all, but just know that they can, right? Because if, if it's stuff that you don't know you can do, I still look back on the first car that I, well, the second one that I paid for, not the one that, man, it sucks that I feel like I have to hesitate to tell a story because it's bashing my parents, but not the first one that they sold out from underneath of me, but I had went to work as a telemarketer and bought a second one. And um, it all it did was spin a rod bearing. You know, the rod bearing had overlapped itself and wedged itself in on the crank. And at the time, my 17-year-old self didn't know that you could just, you know, have the crank whatever worked on and put an oversized bearing in possibly and be good to go so i just thought the car was just a complete loss and got rid of it and it's things like that that so i hear i am 40 years old and i still think about this car when i was 17 like wish i would have put a rod bearing in it so if you don't know you don't know so hopefully my sons know all the things that they can fix and what, what am i saying he didn't even know to bring a towel in to take a shower I, i'm done so i couldn't tell a happy birthday story about my dad and all the goofy things he done without telling this story this little bank right here it doesn't look like much on camera but that road goes back this way and you come he come hauling ass one night up through here in this old dodge aspen he had and he's supposed to make this turn and then turn and go on up out of the river down here but instead him and a car full of his buddies just just ramped straight off of there and landed out here somewhere and bent the frame of the car but that was one thing about him for sure, is he liked to have a good time, man. Uh, and that car that I'm talking about, it, he bent the frame up in it so bad that they had to cut a hole in the floorboard right above the transmission and had the car's antenna tied to the shift linkage. And that's how he shifted that thing 
from, you know, park, reverse, neutral, and all that to drive. And I'm pretty sure they still drove it for a while after that, but he had done a couple other things to it. It was sad because it ran good. It had a 318 Mopar engine in it, and that thing ran so good, actually. On the way to the scrapyard, he tore that tire up. Every red light, he would leave doing a burnout in it and uh, and just relentless. Like, he was one of those guys that, you know how you got guys that are scared to, no, I shouldn't say scared, but have mechanical sympathy, and they're like, well, I don't wanna go too hard on it because I don't wanna blow this thing up. He was that freaking go or blow, you know, he didn't give a shit, dude. Talk about a guy, he knew how to have fun. That's one thing he knew how to do. I mean, his, his tank, his tank was always full, always full. He knew how to have a good time, man. But anyway, um, I just know how to work real hard. I don't, I don't know anything else. Just work hard and don't stop until you, you know, you're forced to stop. Like last night I was walking around the house like the hunchback of Notre Dame. I was just leaning over. My wife came in the kitchen. She's like, go to bed. Like you can't even walk right. Um, anyway, I hope I have and can find a few videos of him just kind of showcasing what I mean by him having a good time and that smile that was always on his face, man. And if I do, I'll go ahead and put a little compilation together here. So that uh, really uh, calm song on or whatever the word you use. And then when it stops, all of a sudden, hell spells. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody's going to leave with thick tops. Yeah. Yeah. His sister ain't crazy about She's what? She don't like it. Uh, oh, well. sister. She'll get over it. That'd be alright. Let me ask you, bro. You wrote two times. What was the Women ain't worth a f***ing run. <laughs> 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 you sitting out here. I'm just kidding. Time. 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 I seem to recall picking your dinner a couple nights. I know, I know. And you just sit there waiting. There you go, for it up. You gotta suck on it. You ain't got enough beer to suck on it. I'll fire it up. That's what she said. Fire it up. You gotta suck on it, she said. Fire it up. Yeah, there you go. that hospice said they'll do anything for us. Let me see that thing. My goodness. Yeah, you're on too tight. <laughs> Red D Rock. You just don't know how to <laughs> smoke a joint. Yeah, right. <laughs> you just right. Just in remembrance of them, you know, happy birthday, old man. I would I would love to be sitting with you right now, listening to some good tunes, you know, just reminiscing, talking about the old days. But instead I get to go home and go on my roof and finish that. But we don't always get what we want, do we? Anyway, uh, God, I, I can't tell how short this is or if this is a long enough vlog. And I know it's gotten kind of weird lately, and I promise you it's just because it's a funk, man. Like, I'm not used to working this this physically hard, uh, doing the things that I'm doing. And, you know, we're catching up on parties and family and stuff. But I got some fun stuff coming. If I can get this roof done soon enough, then I can use the rest of my vacation to really turn up and have a good time. But... I love you guys. Like I said earlier in this video, I know I've said it, but I'll say it again. I appreciate the ones that stick around and watch the personal videos. And it's not all about, you know, the fun and, and me kind of taking the piss out of somebody, which I try to sprinkle that in there just for the ones that enjoy it as much as I do. But I love y'all, man. Uh, have a good evening. I will see you tomorrow and one more day to pay that truck off, baby. Woo! I'm holding the phone up while I drive past the car. That's fantastic.